Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. May has arrived, summer is not far away and of course we've got two bank holiday weekends coming up. So naturally the weather is about to turn much colder. A return of nighttime frosts into the weekend and even some white stuff just in a few locations. But it's not all bad news for the bank holiday weekend. More on that in a moment. The trend after the bank holiday weekend is that low pressure is more likely to influence our weather than high pressure. But that will mean different things depending on where you are. And of course, May is famously a decent month of weather in the west of Scotland. Could that still be the case? Well, let's find out because actually May doesn't start off very well across northern and western Scotland. There will be a lot of cloud on Thursday, some rain elsewhere, sunny spells, but also some lively showers, hail and thunder across central parts of Britain. Still quite warm in the south, cold air pushing into the far north. And that's because of developments over the states over the next couple of days. You can see on Wednesday some very severe thunderstorms are developing across this area. Quite common actually at this time of year. But the hail and the tornadoes and the severe storms here are due to this area of very humid air pushing north across the states and helping to nudge the jet stream north as well. And of course, what happens over here to the jet stream has ripple effects, has a consequence downstream. It then dives south and then it pushes north and then south again. And that means that we are on the side of the jet stream that is likely to drag northerly winds across the UK for the end of this week. And really quite cold northerlies with the air coming all the way from Spitsbergen. And those deep blues then make their way across the UK for the end of the week. You can see Friday's the day of change with 17 still possible in the south, but seven further north, cloud and rain in between. And with that colder air, those northerlies setting in for uh, parts of Scotland, we could even see some sleet and snow coming through in some of the showers. And these will be showers and then they'll affect North Sea coasts for Saturday. And those showers will be quite lively. Hail and thunder, a possibility for eastern counties of England. Still some of the white stuff coming through for parts of Scotland. But further west, actually, sunny spells. And temperatures, well, they don't look that cold. 13, 14 degrees possible in the sunnier spots. Single figures on the North Sea coast. When you add the wind, it will feel cold. Four or five degrees or even two in places. So a cold wind through Saturday. And then those winds fall a bit lighter on Saturday night, which means a widespread frost to wake up to on Sunday. Gardeners, growers, farmers, beware a frosty or even a sharp frost in places as we start off on Sunday. Temperatures a couple of degrees below freezing in some of the colder spots. So what's the good news for the bank holiday weekend? Well, it's this. High pressure is building in for Sunday and into Monday. It's building in from the west. It will push any showers away and keep any rain confined to the north of Scotland, which means that most places will have a dry and bright day on Sunday and the wind will be lighter, which means that it won't feel quite as cold after that frosty start. And Monday's looking fairly similar. There'll still be a lot of cloud in the sky as we head into bank holiday Monday, especially across northern Britain. And a few showers are possible here and there. But it's not a washout. Many places will be dry and bright. And like I say, the winds will be lighter, so it's not going to feel as cold. Now, this is what it's looking like as we head into next week. We've got low pressure either side of us. And this slither of high pressure giving us those mostly fine conditions for the start of next week. But Things are brewing to the west of us over the Atlantic. The jet stream, this fast flowing current of air high in the sky, well, it's going to start to bring areas of low pressure our way into the start of next week. There is a small chance that high pressure will remain somewhat influential through next week, but the greater chance is that we'll see the jet stream start to become more active in this part of the Atlantic. So at relatively low latitudes, and that means any low pressure systems it creates will be sent towards the southwest of the UK. And you can see the difference quite clearly on this. It's basically just an illustration of whether we're likely to have high pressure or low pressure. More likely to have high pressure, red colors. More likely to have low pressure, blue colors. And these are the dates that the forecast is valid for. So we're looking at Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can see on the latest run of computer models, these are the recent computer model runs going back in time, the very latest ones all suggest blues, low pressure through next week. 
Where will that low pressure end up? Well, because that jet stream is at relatively low latitudes, that low pressure is likely to end up around the southwest of the UK, which means that across southwestern and southern parts of Britain, it will often be windy. There'll be rain at times through next week. However, northern and western Scotland, true to form for the month of May, looks likely to have a drier and more settled week of weather. Still some uncertainty, of course. We're looking at 10 days ahead. And beyond that, now this is the same graphic. Blues indicate low pressure, reds indicate high pressure. Beyond that, looking at Saturday and Sunday into the middle of May, reds return. So some suggestion there, some hope on the horizon that the weather will settle down once again. But that's a long way off, of course. And you can keep up to date with all the very latest updates via the Met Office social media channels and via the Met Office app. Bye-bye.